Hi guys, George here, just doing a video of my back routine today. I was training on my own, so that gave me a little bit of time to set up the camera and do my training. I did pullovers to start with a row cable machine. I aim for roughly about 12 reps, uh, and then I'll up the weight and go for about 10 reps, and then I'll up the weight and go for about 6 reps. But because I can't get any four reps on this, I went into... Um, a drop set so I drop the weight and then continue to do a few more repetitions the idea is to keep your arms locked and to pull your elbows back as far as you can squeeze in the back keeping your arms and eyes and close to your body um, as you can see I'm trying to lock my elbows in place so I'm not using triceps although you will use a little bit of movement depending on how heavy the weight is. If you have different alternative equipment such as a Nautilus pullover, you can use that or you can use a dumbbell. But I like using these just because it was free and I could use it and it was uh, a nice movement. So we do that and then we move on to the next exercise. My next exercise was seated no grip row for two sets, again pulling with the elbows back and a nice squeeze on the back. Again start off with a lighter weight, I did about 10 reps maybe, and then I put a heavier weight on and did less reps. Um, do partial reps if need to, but I'm trying to keep a good strong upper body without leaning too far forward. Because I did that movement with the pullover which was previous to this. So yeah, I'm just trying to get this again. Elbows nice and close to the body. Pulling with the lats, pulling the elbows back and trying to touch the wall behind you as a visualization. I then did one set of rowing, one arm row. Uh, this weight was a bit heavy, it was 50 kilogram, but sometimes I like to just let the ego get involved and just see where I am uh, strength wise. Uh, if I'd have dropped it to 40, I could have probably got a decent set out, but I've got too much movement in that and I'm not getting the elbow up far enough, which means the lats aren't contracting. But because I'd already done two lat workouts, I wasn't too bothered about that one. Uh, this exercise works all the upper back, again find your nice natural position and pull the long bar in, it'll work all your upper back, I'm aiming for the rear delts, rhomboids, traps, just get a good squeeze on it, um, hit the opposite muscle group, or, or hit more of the upper back rather than the lower back when we're working with a more narrow grip. <laughs> Going into rear delts, um, 
you can use a machine uh, reverse peg deck to do this I prefer doing these dumbbells they seem to I seem to hit the muscle quite well with them even if it doesn't look too good that might be the camera angle um, so yeah I'm using rear delts rather than using lats for this exercise with a nice wide grip I prefer doing it like this than having my hands in different positions it seems to work and so I use it again two sets of that until muscular fatigue and then we move on. My last exercise was deadlifts. Uh, I do struggle with my lower back, so squatting and deadlifting is a bit of a struggle due to previous abusing my body trying to lift silly weights with poor form so live and learn so i'm just getting a bit of movement a bit of tension in my lower back getting the muscles working a bit i'm going to build this up slowly but i'm going to always go for repetitions over one rep max because number one i want to build the muscle rather than a one uh, max lift and also it's better on my lower back and I could have probably got a better camera angle on this movement um, but it felt all right didn't feel too bad in this instance so yeah that's my training routine for back day today um, and I'll try and get more of these videos up it's just having the time and being able to get it done when the gym's quiet so yeah thanks for watching check out my blog health and hit all my social media is health and hit I am going to start using my social media a lot more uh, that's my goal anyway so if you get any questions or anything drop me an email to healthinit at gmail.com or go on my blog uh, and thank you for viewing goodbye